Hi everyone, this is Koganta Rye. C-O-G-A-N-T-A underscore R-I-G-H, Koganta Rye. Welcome to my channel. So what I wanted to talk about right here is what I talked about earlier <clears throat> and show you firsthand with this PVP gear that's available right now that was unlocked for just honor. You don't have to have uh, three versus three, you know, point or points and five versus five points, you know, that good stuff. It's just honor. It's been unlocked and you can get it on your character right now. And Wrath comes in about oh, a little over, you know, a month and you can jump in right now and get epics right now. When you hit 70 right now, faster than you can doing anything else right now. And be ready as a 70 that's full of epics, that's got all your epics on, and ready to jump into Borin Thunder Howling Fjord right now with those epics. And it'd be easy for you. I know you can you can go to Howling Fjord. Last time it was uh, Howling Fjord uh, at level 68 you could get in. I don't, it's probably going to be the same way this time. But wouldn't you like to jump in at 70 with epics and it'd be a little easier than it was last time. Just saying. This right here is what I have. The Merciless Gladiator's Greatsword. I still got to get an enchant on it, but... You, you couldn't get this earlier. You couldn't get this before. It wasn't that easy. Uh, you'd have to do a lot of two versus two, three versus three, five versus five, and battle it out for those extra other marks. But in this instance, all you have to do is just go, go battle. PvP and BGs. Alterac Valley, Arathi Basin, Warsong Gulch, Eye of the Storm. And then, like these marks right so you trade in one of each of these at the Horde Batter Master in Shatrath. And so that's four marks. That's up to four marks. So one of each of these for four marks into the Battle Master in Shatrath. That'll give you about uh, 600 honor points, a little bit over, each time you trade those in. And that'll work up your honor points. And you won't have to get arena points to buy this gear, the Merciless Gladiator. And I kept doing BGs until I hit 70. And right as I was hitting 70, I realized I had enough honor because I had been already been doing this. I had enough honor to get a sword, some shoulders, and a couple other things. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go get the rest. And I did. I got everything that I can get with honor points that I needed for retribution. And I didn't stop until I have everything that I needed. Some of this stuff you still can't get unless you had a player versus player rating built up. Let's see if I can see some of it. Uh... Yeah, like this This here. It says, requires personal and team arena rating of 1,700. That's a lot of work. That is a lot of work for that. Then this here, Vindicators, Scaled Greaves. It used to be that you had to have a rating to get these. But I've got Merciless Gladiators scaled. And I had to do some research and take a look at it and really try to figure it out. I couldn't find anything that really was particularly word for word that said what you had to get out of the Merciless Gladiators, out of the specific word that comes after all these. Like scaled. Scaled is for a Retribution Paladin that's going to buy PvP gear. Scaled. Look for that word 
But if you buy the others like uh, Lemelar and Ornamental, those are not going to be for Retribution Palette. And you're making a mistake if you get those. You want to go with the scaled piece on it. This stuff doesn't have hit, but it's got a whole lot of everything else. And you can gem and you can enchant for your hit rating. So if you take a look at my gear right here, this is what I was referring to earlier. This right here is, well, I can't even see that past the Twitch bar. Anyways, this is a necklace that was not PvP. This is from getting exalted with Shattered Sun. And depending on whatever class and spec you are, you're going to want this too. You know, it's pretty easy to get. You just get exalted with Shattered Sun by doing dailies. Doing dailies, getting money for your fast flying, bam. And you got a necklace that's epic for your tune. Anyways, this one's got hit rating on it. And that's what I was working towards. And so the next thing I'm working towards is that head slot enchant. It's supposed to go, it's going to replace that plus 18 stamina, plus 20 resilience rating. Towards hit cap. So, I hope you end up getting your PvP gear and get a hit capped and uh, enjoy yourself when you join uh, the next expansion for Wrath and kill some mobs. You've been watching Kogantarai. I hope you like and subscribe. Later, guys.